Hello, my darlings. This is Mrs. Welch for the Chester Andover Elementary School, and I have a fun book for you. It's called Two Dogs. It's by Ian Falconer. And if you're saying to yourself, where do I know that name? It could be because Ian Falconer writes the Olivia books. Ian Falconer, two dogs, two dogs, Dotsons, dignified, slightly imperious, with aquiline noses, that means pointy noses, and noble profile files. Indeed, they look like Roman emperors, except when they look like this. Most of the time, Augie looked more serious. That's Augie. Perry was all over the place. When they were puppies, everyone loved Augie and Perry and played with them all the time. But over the years, the children had gone off to school, the parents were at work, and like so many dogs, they were left alone. All day, most days, they were bored. Much of the time they spent barking at squirrels in the backyard. Sometimes Perry would steal Augie's ball. The ball was very important to Augie. Please, Perry, give me back my ball. Perry, please give me back my ball. Give me back my ball. No. Augie, where are you going? <gasps> please, Augie, no, not the piano. Perry howled in agony. I'm sorry, I'm just imagining my dog playing the piano. Finally, Perry returned the ball. We can't go on fighting like this. We have to escape. How can we open the door? Perry started barking at the lock. Bark, 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 bark. But that didn't work. Stop jumping, Perry. I'll do it. Augie neatly flipped the lock. The first thing they did was water the mother's new flowers. They found some raccoon poop and they happily rolled around in it. They loved the swings and the seesaw. <laughs> then Perry wanted to go swimming. Augie wasn't at all sure about it. Perry just went for it. Belly flop. Augie nailed it. Look at that jump, somersault, tuck, dive. <gasps> Look, Augie, a hole. It might be a mouse. It might be a mole. But we can't dig up the lawn, said Augie. We'll get into trouble. <gasps> but we'll get to dig. Dotsons love to dig, and in the end, even Augie couldn't resist. Then they heard the car drive up. <gasps> they hightailed it back into the house. Now Perry was the one who was worried. We're gonna get in trouble, Augie! No, we're not. Just do what I do. Hurry yourself at the door and bark. Oh my goodness, Mother shrieked. What happened? Who on earth dug that hole? It was a squirrel. It was huge. Huge, echoed Perry. Huge with, with big fangs and giant claws and... Enough, Perry. Now you're just humiliating yourself. It didn't matter really because, you know, the mother couldn't speak dog. Oh, my little angels, the mother cooed. You deserve an extra treat tonight. They had that mother fooled. And although sometimes they disagreed, once again, Augie, I saved the day. No, you didn't. At least they were, for the most part, friends again. This has been Mrs. Welch for the Chester Andover Elementary School, and we'll see you soon.